Hello, I'm Dr. Manor Haas. I'm a certified endodontist from Toronto, Canada. In this segment, I would like to review the management of large or ovoid canals, canals with no apical constrictions, post-space preparations, and retreatment of gutta core. First, I'll speak about obturation of ovoid canals. As shown in the video, in ovoid or large canals, I personally like to place a single master gutta percha point corresponding to your master file at one side of the canal and in turn leaving space for the gutta core that will be inserted alongside of it. To improve visibility and reduce interference with the warm gutta core that will be inserted, I suggest cutting the cold gutta percha at or below the occlusal table. This is the same as when I recommended doing with the paper points meant to block out adjacent canals. This is optional, but in large canals, and as you may see in this clip, I like to downpack the warm gutta core gutta percha around the cold gutta percha in order to provide an even better obturation. Second, I'll speak about canals with no apical constriction. These include, but are not limited, to cases with apical pathology or canals you know have been instrumented large beyond the apex. In such cases, I recommended that you obturate at least one millimeter short of your working length. And remember to use very little sealer in these canals. This will help reduce extrusion of sealer and or gutta percha. This case of mine, of the Maxry Central with an apical lesion demonstrates how using too much sealer and or not filling short of the working length could result in unintentional extrusion. Third, I'll speak about post preparation. Preparing a post space in canals obturated with gutta core is quite easy. Simply wait maybe about 30 seconds or so to allow the gutta core to set and then you may use nearly any drill you wish to make your post space. This could be done the same way as you would with plain gutta percha obturations. I found that you don't necessarily need special post space drills for gutta core. I can't say the same with other carrier based obturations, however. Now I'll speak about retreatment. In the unlikely event you need to remove your gutta core, I recommend using a headstrom file for engaging and removing the gutta core. As seen in this video, turn a headstrom file in a clockwise direction to engage into the gutta core and pull the file coronally. This is very easy to perform, especially before the gutta core has fully set. If or once the sealer is fully set, you may retreat the gutta core the same way you would any other gutta percha based obturations. Now I'd like to discuss accessibility into difficult to reach sites. Now most root canal treatments are performed on posterior teeth, which are often more challenging to reach because of the opposing arch or the patient's limited opening. With that in mind, I would like to mention that from a practical and clinical perspective, it's not just about getting warm 3D obturation of the root canal system, but it's just as important to evaluate if your warm obturation system can enable you to obturate with ease in difficult to access areas. In this video, you can see how accessibility into posterior teeth is amongst various obturation systems on the market. As you can see in the clinical demonstration, only the gutta core obturators can make warm 3D obturation so easy and difficult to reach sites. The ability to break off the gutta core handle and turn the obturator into a shorter and easily maneuverable gutta percha separates this from other warm obturation systems on the market. Many obturation systems may enable you to obturate with warm gutta percha, but please ask yourself if they can be used easily, predictably, comfortably in more difficult to reach sites. So to recap, I've shown how you can obturate large ovoid canals, how to manage canals with no apical constriction, how to easily prepare post spaces and retreat canals obturated with gutta core. Finally, I demonstrated how gutta core stands out and above other warm obturations by enabling you to obturate so easily in difficult to reach sites. I hope you found this useful. Good luck and thank you for your time.